Hey, what is up guys? Minecraft Steve here and welcome back to a, another video in a very long time. I know it's been a long time, I'm sorry about that, but just haven't had much to do and I've been busy with school and whatnot, you yeah, know. So, um, today I built another, it's another Lego video, so I built another thing out of Legos here. Um, this is my smallest, fastest, most compact, and fairly well steering car I think I've ever made out of Legos. So, pull it up here. I crashed it into the wall. Now I'm about to crash into the camera. You can't even see it though. I just crashed into the camera. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to control when you have like very little space like I do here. But here it is. It's a very small car. It's I think the smallest I've ever made. Oops, let's back it up a little bit. There we go. But it's very fast because I've got a um I think the best gear ratio you can have within Lego. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera and show you. Try to turn it off real quick. Yeah, there we go. So here we can see it, the car itself. It's not much bigger than my hand. Um, like my hand over it is, it's, it's like I can reach across the entire car. It's fairly good. And the best part about this is it's very easy to make. All it requires is the thing you see on the screen now. And um, just custom a couple Lego bricks that Technic pieces that you might have at home, um, as well as some wheels. Um, now you'll you realize that I have tires on the back and none on the front, and I have these wheels. Well, the thing is, um, without the uh, uh, wheels, tires on the front, you have it's um, able to turn like a lot easier, like this. With it though, there's friction and it stops it from turning. It's very hard, like you hear that noise when it tries to turn when you're driving it. So that's why I'm using these wheels, and I'm using the wheels from the Lego Technic 4x4 crawler because they fit there, like literally the size of the these with a tire on. That is, so that's why I have that. So that is that, and then I've got the battery box is a frame which out with, doesn't have a cover for it for some reason. Um, the receiver on the back which has the motors, one motor here, this one here, and this one here to control them so I can turn and then our gear ratio is, gosh what is it, I don't even know. Then I believe that's 8 to, oopsies, sorry about that, I don't know if you saw that but I got a little minor on my screen, but that's about 8 to I believe, and this is, uh, I think it's 60 tooth, maybe? I'm not exactly sure, but that's that. And then we just have the LEGO Technic M motors, the newer ones, right there, connected to the battery box. So the whole frame of this thing is actually the battery box, which is held together with just a couple fives, and um, these pieces, whatever they're called, and a couple other things. So it's very small, compact, and also, let's see, come on camera, focus with me. Okay, so it's very fast and small. I'm controlling currently with this controller, which is just to put a couple things on too. This Lego controller, but um, I believe you can control it with the, the, the um, uh, one with the wheel, the controller that uh, choose things. I think it's a lot harder to control it with. So, yeah, but I'm just currently controlling with this. So, I'm going to quick do a quick cut and show you it driving around. Be right back. All right, we're back here, and I've just got um, part of my basement laid out here, so we're going to go ahead and drive it. It's going to be really hard to drive with one hand, so I'm sorry about this. But, uh, ah! I can already, you can already see. But we can do turning, and if I get, um, hang on, I'm gonna hand the camera over. Um, hang on, one sec. All right, there we go. Now, we have to control a little better. Sorry about that quick cut, but here we are back, and we're gonna drive. I'm gonna drive again. With my controller just forwards to go forwards. It's pretty nice and it's a really good thing for just a really small compact car that anybody can make that works really fast and it's a lot of fun just because it is. You can even drift if I pull backwards. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be right back and show you another modification I can make this as it's very fast right now. But if I switch these two gears out down here backwards, um, it'll have a lot more torque instead of speed 
So we'll be able to climb up things and whatnot. So I'll do that in a sec. Be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back now, and as you can see here, I have switched out the gears to um, the opposite side. So the motor is now the small, and the wheel is the big. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and climb this two-block uh, Lego thing just with this. Here we go. Easy as anything, except the back wheels. Back wheels will not work because they don't have any friction on them, and they're not being powered by anything. So I just saw my sock there, but. This is not part of anything, they can't really get up, but the front can, the back, not so much. But I bet if you put friction on the back, or if you combine them, like this motor powered this, or you can add the second motor over here, and here, you could easily make it have a lot of friction. Things. But for now it doesn't, and as you can see though, now it's very, very slow if we go ahead and drive forwards. Here, oh that's actually that good, but that is its top speed right now, we're going, top speed right there, look. Got my fingers all the way back. Really slow. Really boring. That's why I have the speed upgrade. So, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this little car that I've made. Um, feel free to build yourself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple angles in case you guys want to build this yourself. So you can easily get a perfect angle of how everything is done. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I've done this. Attach the motors to the battery box back down there with a red just thing, crossbeam going through. That's attached straight to the battery box right there. Um, let me know if you guys want me to actually just do a quick build on this. I probably could. Just let me know if you want to see that or not. Yep. The wheels are held in by fives. Well, yep, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Come subscribe and like if you did. Um, have a good day. Goodbye.